Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cheat Code Jiu Jitsu. Jeff here again. Uh, today's sweep, also uh, another one of my personal favorite sweeps when I'm not able to get the electric chair. This is the one that I probably take more than any other. It's called the Boa Sweep. This is going to be the first sweep that I'm going to show from the dogfight position. There's a couple ways we can get up into the sweep. One starts down low, taking double underhooks and then coming up. And then the other one comes on actually from dogfight, which is where I normally catch it from. But either way, getting into it, it's a really nasty one. Feels very bad on your ribs, puts a nice good crush on there, and really just strongly encourages guys to just go ahead and roll over because it'll just all be a lot better if you could just give me this sweep right now. So, bow sweep coming at you. So I'm in a lockdown position. Got my double underhooks in place. I'm gonna whip up and get to my side. Now, what I am gonna eventually want here is I'm gonna want double underhooks on Mike and I'm gonna wanna be around in a body lock. This way of doing it where I start down, I've noticed the longer I've done this that it tends to work better for guys who are taller and have longer arms, which is why this doesn't work as well for me. But if you can make this work, take the slack out and clamp it down, it's kind of darce proof and guillotine proof as long as you keep everything really tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm marrying myself up to Mike's side to take all of this slack and all this space away. Same thing as before, I don't wanna really tall underhook with this. I wanna stay down low and I wanna wrap mainly like just barely above his hips. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a lock in place here. Now you'll see in my arms, I've got some slack in here. What I'm going to do to take that out is I'm actually going to switch from an S grip to an A grip. So I'm just kind of turning this over and locking it down so I take the extra slack out and I'm now down by his leg. So similar to what we did with the old school sweep at this point, we do some footwork. This slides down, pulls back up, I shoot this leg through and then I start coming up. The difference though is I'm going to keep this body lock in place the whole time as I come up. This can be difficult to do. Uh, you got to kind of rep this out a little bit because I'm used to having this hand to post to help me to come up. Because it's dedicated to this body lock, I don't have that. So I just have to pull myself around Mike to get myself up to the side. Now, there's a couple ways to finish this at this point. Some guys like to go ahead and just leave this here and then squeeze and pull in. Now that can work, but my preferred way to finish this is I actually don't want this on his waist. Waist is a good way to get me up, but when I'm ready to finish, I want to slide this grip up. I'm aiming for his short ribs. I'm going to take this, lock around here, and then my arm that's going around his back is going to turn, thumb in, and I'm going to put a gable grip on. With this gable grip now, I'm going to pinch and I'm going to roll the blade of my wrist right up into his ribs. When I do that, it is an incredibly powerful bear hug that puts a lot of pressure right on top of his ribs and makes him want to go over very fast. Now my finish here in terms of getting the guard pass is basically exactly the same as the old school. I've got this reap in back here on the leg so he can't turn his hips over and re-guard. And at this point I can break my body lock and I just walk my way around up my knee and then I come up and I take side control. It's a relatively easy finish, very little different at that point from old school, but that pressure from the body lock makes it very difficult for him to maintain the position. That's option number one. Option number two is we're going to actually catch this from dogfight. You have to be very careful trying to catch this from dogfight because if you do it correctly, works really well, guy tends to go over. If you do it wrong, and specifically you do it at the wrong time, you're probably going to find yourself right back down on your back and you're going to have to fight your way back up. So for those of you who do not know, dogfight comes on when I get up here and I get myself up out to the side. Okay, This is dogfight. I've got an underhook, Mike's got a wizard, he's putting pressure on me and we're pretty much right next to each other, each with a hand on the ground. So I get up to dogfight. Now here's the mistake people make. Right now, we are neutral. We both have equal body weight on. 
If I start leaning into Mike and I start pushing him that way, I'm actually winning because I'm taking him off balance in that direction. Conversely, if Mike pushes into me, he's now kind of winning and he's putting pressure back in my direction. If you try to reach across the guy's body at a time when you're either neutral or even worse, when he's pushing into me and he's winning the battle of the lean, he's gonna take a very easy mat return from me. So go ahead and push into me like so he pushes in, I try to reach across. All he's got to do is just grab the back of my elbow, lift up on that trap leg. I go straight back down, okay? So you have to watch the timing on this. When we get to dog fight, I've got my underhook in place. And the first thing that I do when I get here is I put weight on this hand, usually come out on this leg, and then I push. Once I've got a little bit of body weight leaned into him, when I push and extend this arm across, he can still grab my elbow, but it's much more difficult for him to do that mat return to me because I'm winning the battle of the lean. He's got his body weight shifted too far to that side. So now I can safely reach across and then it's the same grip. This hand right here comes up to the short ribs. Go in, I put my gable grip in place and then I just roll the blade of my wrist into those short ribs and encourage him to go down. Keep the reap in place, break step, push that up, and then I take my side control on him. The boa sweep is really, really powerful when you get that bear hook grip in place. And knowing that and how to do that from that position will help because that bear hug type grip can come on from a lot of different places, especially in standing, trying to get takedowns. A lot of people do it sort of pro wrestling style where they're going front on trying to bear hug somebody. You always want to be out around to the side. And if you can get the blade of your wrist rolled up into their ribs and pull hard into that, it's incredibly painful and it's a very good way to get guys into compliance to do what you want them to do, which in that particular situation is, please, pretty please, with sugar on top, fall over to your back so I can get my sweep. So, Bow sweep is an excellent one. It's one of my favorites. I probably get two or three sweeps almost every session that I roll with it. Play around with that. It's fantastic. Works really well. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications so you can get a notification every time we upload a new video. Still got a lot more lockdown stuff coming. So see you next time.